In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a crumbling pillars animation slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this uh, pillar design completely in PowerPoint. And then uh, once I play this one and I would like to bring it down, okay, into much smaller pieces. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here it comes uh, crashing down something like this. So let me just show you once again, once I click. You can see here uh, it crumbles down something like this so you can use it for variety of different purposes like if you want to show the pillars of democracy or crumbling down or pillars of justice or any other thing which you like to show that which is not happening currently in the society it's up to uh, your own content you can uh, fit into this one and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010 then some features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint like 2019 or office 365 so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any uh, light color background. In this case, I have used this particular color. Then I'm going to uh, make the pillar design. For that, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much height and width, shape outline, make it no outline, shape will make it white. Or uh, it's better to use the outline. So I'm just going to give some a uh, dark gray color and you can increase the outline you can see here maybe you can make it to two quarters and put it in the center or you can just make it align center all right let me just bring it more down and then hold the control shift key add one more here and then i'm just going to reduce the size of this one you can see here so depending on the requirement you can reduce it again one more third one the third step i'm just going to reduce it till here so once this is done let's add some pillar here go to insert rectangle again draw a rectangle so depending on your requirement how many rectangles you need you can add that many rectangles so in this case i'm going to add three rectangles shape outline the same and shape fill also the same color and below here i'm going to add one more rectangle so press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the height increase the width a little bit and maybe i'm just going to put it here you can see here and the same i'm going to hold the ctrl shift key and drag it at the top so this is the first pillar i'm going to select this Again, hold the control shift key, add the second one. Again, hold the control shift key, add the third pillar. And then I'm going to add one more uh, rectangle here. So you can hold the control shift key of this and drag this up. You can see here like this. And then go to insert shapes, select the triangle, draw the triangle. You can see here. All right so shape outline same shape fill you can give the same color here and if you like you can add one hole in the center so i'm just going to draw a oval shape by holding the shift key and make sure that it is aligned in the center then select this one hold the shift key select this merge shape and make it subtract so you can see here we end up getting a pillar design something like this all right so now what we need to do is we need to make a multiple copies of this one otherwise what happens is if you start working on this one and if something goes wrong uh, then you need to do it again so to avoid uh, the the consumption of time what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this one so right mouse click and click on the duplicate slide now this particular slide what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all this you can see here one by one i'm just selecting or i can just select all except the bottom part okay the bottom three steps except those things or you can press ctrl a it will select all hold the shift key and click this one 
so that these three will be deselected and the rest of the uh, objects are selected so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to shape format merge shapes and make it a union so it looks something like this now now once this is done again for this also i'm going to duplicate it all right so i've got this copy this copy and this copy now for this copy what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, use uh, the, another rectangle shape and then i'm going to break this into multiple pieces so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then you need to just crisscross like this you need to just place it make sure that it is long enough so it goes from one end to another end okay don't make something like this you have to make it again press ctrl d to duplicate and then you can add something like this all right press ctrl d i'm going to add something here so just for the uh, sake of explaining i'm just going to use this one or you can use multiple also many lines you can use the more lines you use and the more time you need to spend on deleting that part so uh, that's the reason i'm not explaining you or now i'm not going to show you uh, more lines so let it be we'll take these three lines only so now what i'm going to do is again i'm going to select all these objects except the three uh, you can see except the three steps okay once this is done go to the shape format merge shapes and make it fragment okay the moment you fragment it it looks something like this i don't want all these designs you can see here the extra objects which i need to delete it one by one all right you can see here now if i zoom it let me just delete this also if i zoom it you can see here a small uh, this part which is not clearly visible but let me just show you so if i just select like this you can see here this line okay it is not visible sometimes so maybe what you need to do is you have to just select this one and you have to give a uh, outline so that see this is very much clearly visible now so all those things i just need to delete this part you can see here all those things or let me just zoom in you can see this part i need to delete it all right so again this also i need to delete at the top also i need to delete this this and this i think now you can see here this all separated now can you see here it's all separated so let me just control z that one and then again i'm selecting all those all right let me just select all and deselect the steps shape format make it shape fill white so it looks something like this now all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane so first of all i'm going to select this particular object and i'm going to bring it down for that go to the add animations scroll down you can see the you know, under motion paths the custom path select that one and put it down here and double click so you can see here it falls down something like this okay maybe i'm just going to select the steps and give some darker color so that you can see here the steps are uh, the falling onto this particular place so once this is done i'm going to select this one animations add animation scroll down go to the motion paths and custom path and this will be falling like this and this should happen with previous or if there's any delay you want you can give some delay also if i play you can see here it falls something like this then the second the third object i'm going to select again add animation custom path and put it here like this all right again this is also with previous if you want some delay you can make it and like that you need to just select one particular object and double click all right so you can see here this also with previous and if you want more delays you can do it so you can see here it falls down something like this all right now 
uh, I cannot just show something like this right so what we need to do is the uh, the design which we did earlier I'm just going to select particular design that design you can see here control C come here control V exactly on the top of that one we need to paste this one I think some problem I think something is not right let me just delete this one I think yeah I need to just copy this control C and control V yeah okay you can see here and this also I can control G to group it so it becomes one so exactly on top of that one I am adding this one so now this particular object I'm going to give a wipe effect you can see here the wipe effect and this wipe effect instead of giving this wipe effect on these things you need to do on exit actually not on the entrance so let me just delete this again I'm selecting go to add animation you need to go to more exit effects and then you need to select wipe okay and click ok and this should happen actually very first thing so this one should come and then the one which we added before should come after previous okay now if i click you can see here it comes something like this the first one it will hide let me just do it you can see here like this it will come all right or instead of with previous i have to make it after previous that will be better now you can see here like this so what you can do is later on if you want to add some text like the one which I did here come link pillars you can use like pillars of democracy you can use or pillars of justice it's up to you so if I play like this it will come alright because here I have used so many different uh, lines here okay.